Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Astral Chain. We are just on our way to end file 7 with the fight against uh, the most recently loosed homunculus that's attacking the Ark. So in the meantime, this Zetman aesthetic, uh, this sci-fi dystopia of the Ark uh, that we've been going through this whole time, is so alien compared to the initial design doc for this game. Uh, because it started out as a medieval fantasy setting. Look, the homunculus. It's on the side of that building. It's absorbing more data. That can't be good. Get rid of it quick. That's a really cool image. Even you might not be able to handle it. Yeah, that is... Mmm. So cool. There's so much contrast there, too. <laughs> it's just gorgeous looking. There's something for all this ever, right? I think it's just some uh, material codes. Yeah, we, we take those. Uh, so, yeah, this... Finding out that this started off as a medieval fantasy setting just kind of furthers my theory, my thoughts, that Astral Chain is partially them cobbling together the scraps of uh, the cancelled Scalebound and trying to salvage some of their work. According to Platinum, it was actually Nintendo that said they needed a more interesting setting. So they just swung the exact opposite direction. Oh, there's that hype ass song. I'm I've really fallen for this soundtrack. Like, I don't know why, but the first time through the game, it didn't grab me that much, but lately. Ah, uh, it's it's really hitting all my buttons. Oh shit. Oh right, I forgot. There's a proto arrow legion. Who might not even actually be shooting an arrow, it might just be a gun. Yeah, oh no, it's like a little crossbow. Yeah, we could have done without that. We, we could have also used a finish off on these. I forgot there was actually a fight right before the homunculus. So I was going in all geared up to start that right away, but this could actually work out. As long as we get to finish one of them off, uh, I'm not going to hedge my bets on that anymore. Especially as we whittle them down. Uh, my good old buddy, my brother, who has not turned evil. Uh, he's going to start focus firing the ones that I'm targeting as we thin this crowd out. So it's just going to get harder to land that final hit. If I even can on these, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be able to finish them. Could be wrong. Could be extremely wrong. Oh yeah, I forgot you can't launch him either. Oh well, we have medicine for days. I felt like that dragged on a little bit too long to be an S+. Plus. Glad it was. Quite tenacious, aren't you? How much longer do you intend to stand in my way? I think it's about time to end this. Well then, 
Here's your big chance. I trust you can deal with it. On your own. Don't let me down, Howard. Okay, so by now, it should be apparent that the homunculi are just homages to Nightmare and Devil May Cry. Which is extra fitting, because just like the third Nightmare fight, the third homunculus fight is the worst one by far. This one... sucks. It likes to move around a lot more. That hitbox is nothing. That makes no sense whatsoever. Uh, and its limbs are a lot more flaily. And he's jumpy. He's a little goddamn bullfrog. Actually, quite a large one, which does not ever, 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 ever help the camera. Uh, but the thing about him being so jumpy and so mobile compared to other homunculi is that it makes it a little bit harder to stun him by wrapping up all four legs. But once you uh, get him down enough, he does transition to this new phase where the bad part starts. <laughs> Oh, this fight! So right there, that that distance is perfect for this fight because you can see both yourself and him. But once you are close enough, shit starts getting bad fast. Uh, so the thing that you have to know about wrapping the legs up... Actually, right now the camera is doing what I want, and that's pretty rare for this fight. He's trying to make me look silly. Uh, before you wrap the individual legs up... This is why I love having two minimum with the auto bind, just because of the cooldown. Uh, the cooldowns for the individual ones are not shared. Uh, you have to break the plates, the chitin on the legs, before you can wrap them. Once you do, however, uh, actually becomes very easy to stun him, as opposed to in the first form, trying to get all four legs. This is where the camera decides, no, I quit. When shit starts going all over the ground is when it gets dire. Also, I don't remember if there is a gimmick to this part. Like, I don't think we can get the arm to do any anything with these, right? I don't remember if there is a gimmick to this part of the fight. And then I'm pretty sure, yeah, they're just bombs. So now we're gonna do this, ooh shit, the honest way by just shooting him for a bit. Not that kind of shooting! Why did my fingers do that? That was not an intentional visual pun. <laughs> so you, at this point, are just making sure that you're not under any of the bombs when they spawn. You don't roll into them. You remember to scan the boss for his health bar. Ah, uh, and there's goo now. But now that he's fallen, we can actually get some quality face time in. Uh, just going ham. Especially, again, the face being a weak point for every homunculus fight. And luckily, he does not just chill on the wall forever once he recovers. He does get back to his own two feet eventually. Oh god, I fear for what's gonna happen. Oh, yep. Yeah. Because now he's close to the edge of the building. Oh, Jesus God almighty. We're going to try to get to a better angle, but I'm actually struggling to move the camera. Like, the camera resists. 
It's like, no, you want to look at the thing that you're looking at. You want it here, don't you? It's, it's extremely whack. But hey, the environmental drama of the fight's really strong there, and it has a proper climactic Your feeling. Are gone. And you're all right. I'm so glad. This is Akira. I lost visual contact with Jenna at the West Harmony Square connector. Roger that. All Neuron officers continue searching for Jenna Anderson. Akira, bring your sister to the command room back at HQ. Commander Yosef's orders. Roger. Well, looks like I'm missing all the action thanks to you. Eh, whatever. Let's get you back to the station. <laughs> Relax, okay? <laughs> I'm sure you've more than earned your forgiveness. I'll even put in a good word for you. Commander, about her case, I... I know. It is true that the two of you are likely the only ones capable of stopping Jenna. And the future of the human race depends on both of you. In addition to that, I suppose your actions today also merit consideration. I am willing to wipe the record clean. I've already cleared this with the government. Thank you, sir. A neuron detachment is pursuing Jenna as we speak. But I expect it'll be some time before they catch up to her. For now, you two are on cleanup duty. Return to the scene and help with the follow-up investigation. You may be able to find something that will help us actually bring her to justice next time. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Look at you. A free woman already. Oh, no, no, no. You can thank me later. Just try and stay on the commander's good side from now on, okay? I'll be on the roof as usual. Come on up when you're ready to go. So yeah, we will be joining him on the roof in just a moment to get right into the next file. Uh, we're heading into the home stretch of the game finally. Still have a few more left, but I believe one of them is mostly a boss fight chapter, and two of them are kind of short compared to uh, the median. Doing all the technical stuff, and I'm helping out by finding people to test it. So, what do you say? Hell yes, oh, we are gonna play the lappy I'll game. Be over here taking notes for feedback. All set? Great. Then here we go. And I think the only thing about this that sucks. First is they give you the impression that it's going to be an 8-bit game, but then it's this. ...and hand out balloons to the fair citizens of the Ark. Press the Y button to give men yellow balloons. Press the X button to give women blue balloons. Press the A button to give children red balloons. Now I know that's a lot to remember, but do your best. 
Ted's counting on me, and I'm counting on you. If you're ready, buckle up, and let's begin. Good luck. Three, two, one. I mean, they've done 8-bit... Or wait, no, was it a 16-bit game or an 8-bit one? Either way, they've done, like, smaller, uh, retro pixel art style games before. They did, uh, a, a Bayonetta one as a joke, as an April Fool's joke. Either way, this is a cute idea. It's not a super good one. But there are things about it that make it fun enough. Like, it's just a cute little uh, side mission Easter egg kind of game. Got all you. I think we have almost 100% right now. Oh, I, that guy already got his balloon. I gave one of them the wrong balloon. <laughs> Shit. The last minute of this gets kind of hectic. And I may stop talking as much to actually try to get a decent score. I'm not gonna go back and retry if I don't. But, if I can. Oh wait, no, I thought I gave it to him, shit. Oh no, my rhythm has been blown. I don't even know where to start with these. <laughs> You, you, get these. She also mentioned you get a penalty if you give someone the wrong balloon. No, I gave it to her! Damn it! No! No! Give me back that blue balloon! Give- No, I- I am very sad. <laughs> extremely, extremely devastated. That so many people went balloonless just now. Fantastic work. Okay, you can stop playing. That's now. that was amazing. <laughs> no, it wasn't. If it's okay with you, I'll use that score in my feedback report. So I think if you choose I can do better, it'll just let you try again. Thanks so much. But we don't have time for that, so I'll take that C. That was well earned. Uh, what you get for getting an S plus on that mission by just getting a high enough score. I can't remember what it is. I want to say it's around 26,000, 28 maybe. I'm not very good at video games, so I'm really glad you came along. I'll make sure Ted gets my feedback. He probably already has an explosive update patch in mind. Uh, what you get is a filter for the camera that adds, like, a, a little a bit of pixelation to everything. So, of course, before we leave, I'm going to grab my upgrades. Uh, I don't have the money, and I don't want to spend time on screen selling a bunch of junk. And I don't actually feel like cutting, so we're just going to get into the cutscene for the mission. Uh, and then I'll just redo my time in, uh, in HQ. I also have to wash the legions off screen, so. Just do that before the next episode, in between. This should go lots. Okay, hop on. I gotta say, Akira's looks outfit looks cooler. Here. The others have already started. I want you two to get rid of the gates that have opened up on top of Rayleigh Plaza. 
They're close to where you took down the homunculus, remember? We're not in a rush, so feel free to help out if you see anyone who could use a hand along the way. All right, get to work. Like, it, it's not the outfit that's cooler, it's the color scheme. The outfit is some try-hard edgy bullshit. <laughs> uh, so that is going to do it for now. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one. <laughs> uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, do all the other YouTube nonsense too. Thank you. <laughs>